Okay, we're going to open up our board design in Fritzing, and I'm going to export it for production and an etchable SVG. Select where you'd like to save it, and then just know that it's going to produce a whole bunch of files. I'm going to open up the etch copper bottom mirror. I chose a one layer board, so I'm going to mirror mine. That way I can put my components on the side without the copper. You can see the SVG imported properly. <clears throat> and I'm going to select all of my objects. And just to show you, I need to ungroup them. And I can either do it from the group menu or using Control Shift G. And I need to ungroup until I have all single objects. I deleted the outside lines so it doesn't get confused when I start playing with my fill and stroke. Now I'm going to add a fill just to show where all of my traces are right now and where all of my pads are. And I can play with my stroke style, which is my traces at this point, and determine a good size. I chose 0.65 millimeters just because it works out well with this design. You may have to tweak yours. From here, I need to turn all of the traces into paths that are isolated. So in order to do that, I'm going to select path, stroke to path. And if you give it a second, it'll now turn all of the traces and pads and holes into objects so that I can now control the inside fill and the outline strokes for my isolation. And I'm going to choose blue since I'm going to be cutting this on the laser cutter. And that'll etch away the paint that I use on my copper clad. Notice that the stroke now is really thick and I can go through and change that to a really fine pitch and I'm going to use a stroke width of 0.1 millimeters. And you can just barely see the blue outline with the black inline. I'm going to leave the black and just choose union and that'll ensure that all of my traces, paths, vias, everything is all linked together. And you can see all the isolation paths work out. If you need to add an outline, this is a good time to do that as well for your board. And I just chose a rectangle to outline my board. And if you notice, one of the holes for the power jack is in a path and they cannot cross. So I can go in and add using my Bezier curve tool and just choose a straight line making sure that my width and color are the same and that way I can do any custom addition subtraction things like that to make my printed circuit board work now that I've finalized my design I'm gonna send it to the laser cutter using export win32 vector print I'm gonna select painted metal and choose the thickness of my material run we're running a universal laser cutter and I'm just going to move my object over just to show you that the, all the traces went and you can see that one that we fixed at the end is good.